If you're learning to code and you're trying to get a role, I don't know if you guys saw, but Caitlin got Alex to go viral. Yeah. Alex doesn't know what social media is. Apparently, this platform called like Top Tic Tac. <laughs> Bro, knowing Alex, he already built it. What's up? Good okay. day. I got hired at Kiki and I did the week before and we were like teasing that I was like a social media manager. Airbnb posted that they were hiring a US social media manager. So my best friend messages me and he goes, how does it feel to single-handedly single scare Airbnb into trying to take on the impossible task of replicating the most brilliant marketing mind of our generation? They're threatened by you, Caitlin. Like, They're threatened. Straight up. They're threatened by Caitlin's ability. She's just going way too viral. Flow. Yeah. Brand new flow. Now you can sleep and matches yeah. happen, bro. Hopefully, yeah. I'm deploying a pro. I'll come to my and be doing matchings. <laughs> <laughs> it's merged. Caitlin, guess what? We merged it. Sometimes you say things I'm like, I don't know what you're saying. When you guys talk about like stacks. You know stacks? Like paper stacks? Look at that. Building, baby. Ooh. Oh, we're done. Oh, it's built. <laughs> now it's just deploying. It's like a thriller. We should be betting on the time it takes. <laughs> What's well, done? It's deployed. Nah, it's still got the AWS deployment. Okay, we've got AWS going up. 83 up there. We're going to be able to wake up and it's at 200. Yeah, that's the goal. I'll see you in like an hour. I'll text you when I'm here again. All right, laters. All right, going for a quick run. Also, this is New York for you. Just sirens all the time. Might not even be an emergency and they still put them on. Hey. Hello. Which one do you want? Uh, that's that, that'll do, yeah. Or light. Give it a go. Feeling good? Feeling good. Longest track or the most mini tracks coming back. Six black, and every time it's your go, you get to pick up a card. So that's next person. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So if I've got track, a whole track. So you yeah, can't yeah. Can't you can't put two on. Mate, mate, mate. Yeah. Uh, yeah, black. Um, uh, Wait, but the booking request accept. Let's decide. Wait, so who's who accepted? We're it? waiting for the double check now. <laughs> My horse. <laughs> Chaos. You got three yellows. Do you know what's sick? During that game, we had booking requests automatically sent wild. and accepted. Um, Woo! Let's go! Yeah! It's crazy! It's like group chat! Wait, 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 Yes, wait, we should check if it's half signed already. 124 days! Damn! Wow. What? 500? Oh 600? Dude, that's a big booking. Don't play that game. We made 600 days. Bro, Actually, that game is game. profitable. That game is only 30 bucks. Bro. That's wild. We, we should need, buy more. We need to buy I more. should buy all the variations. We need to buy more games. Man, this is wild. Automation, and it's already working. Otherwise, everything's been manual up until now for the entire experience. All right. See you guys tomorrow. See you guys. Bye. Catch you later. So, sorry, you went pretty good.
<laughs> Try harder. Oh, jeez. All right, let's get out of here. That's embarrassing. We'll go home and be happy. No, Jake, we're not coming back. Sick. All right, catch you guys later. What a day. What a day. So, what a day. <clears throat> We now have crazy automation that Alex has done a ton of work on. Booking requests, sending to Lister, Lister accepting, and then automation for our like internal admin and messaging and such. So it's like taking so much work and just like taking it aside so we don't have to do it. Or like Jack and Mahalo don't really have to do it. And it just makes everything so seamless and so cool. Some things are going wrong a little bit, but automation is so cool because we just played that game and we had booking requests come through and they were sent through to listers. It's like a small glimpse of how you can see this is gonna like take off, right? Yeah, for so, sure, for sure. Gonna head home. I am wearing shorts. <laughs> I don't know what's freezing. Nice. The bags without socks or the shorts in the middle of the night. It smells like cheese pizza. <laughs> <laughs> we made it. All of a sudden got freezing. Let's get some coffee. trying something new. Somehow, I'm a software engineer who doesn't have a college degree. And this is that story. I think it was like two years ago, I was in this marketing job and I wasn't having the like best time like ever. It was okay, like we had fun and like, you know, we, we got some really cool results, but I just was in the market for something new. I wasn't earning what I wanted to be earning. I wasn't doing work that like completely fulfilled me creatively. I had always had an interest in programming, but never actually committed to learning it fully. And man, it's a little bit dark right here. And so, I don't know, there would be years that go by where I try programming and I try like learning code and there's always some sort of blocker like I'd feel inspired on a Friday Arvo I'd start learning and then by the time it reaches the weekend I'm just like not interested anymore and I don't know this went on for a few years and so of course as you can expect like I was never going to be a good programmer or anything because I never committed to it and then as I was doing this job a few, a few years back it was this point where I was like, okay, something really does need to change or like, I'm not gonna be happy completely in like everything I'm doing. So I remember like distinctly, like vividly, I had this moment and I was like, am I gonna commit to this? And it was after doing like, maybe, I don't know, one, two, three days of like learning online. And just if anyone's interested, the resource I was using was it was Scrumber, yeah, at the time. That was like what I was doing all my learning on. And yeah, like I, I remember being like, hey, I've done this like seven or eight times before. Is this just another phase? Am I going to like, I don't know, just stop learning and quit and go back to what I was doing. And I remember like vividly being like, no, I need to like choose if I like want to commit to this or not. And I gave myself like a day or two and then I was like, okay, yeah, I'm doing this. And then like, since then, like everything's changed. I'm in my third engineering job. I'm in New York City, moved from Auckland, New Zealand. Crazy. Um, yeah, I have a sick team. I know how to like build really cool, amazing full stack stuff. Um, I've worked on all sorts of different projects and it's just like crazy where engineering can take you. Um, but it kind of doesn't really stop there because right now I'm in a startup and what we build is very different to like some of the other stuff that I have built in the past which is like 
I don't know, lots of like heavy front end Web3 kind of stuff, which in all honesty doesn't really like interest me as much anymore. Um, I don't know, there was like a time where it was cool, but sometimes I just find it a little bit like scammy. I don't know, it's just me. Don't hate me for that if you're into that stuff, but yeah. I'm really excited about being in like New York and like potentially building something that like changes people's lives, does like a really cool service for people um, and being like one of two core engineers for that. By the way, this is Gramercy Park. This is like the most exclusive park in all of New York City. Only, I don't know, some stupid small number of people have a key and it's like eight grand a year US to like keep the key for maintenance. It's wild, it's pretty cool. Man, I'm feeling out of breath. I've seen a couple of you comment on some of the recent videos being like, how on earth did you even like end up there? What projects would you do to like become an engineer? Also, welcome to New York. Just people cranking music unnecessarily. But as far as projects and like getting your name out there and like I don't know, getting the skills you need to be an efficient developer that can like hold down a job and like progress and do really well. To be honest, like there is no shortcut, you just need to start. And I started by just building projects, pushing them up to GitHub. Obviously you gotta learn Git for that. And well you don't really, it's like, it's not actually that crazy. It's just like a few basic commands and then just share them like, on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, wherever. And slowly you'll like build connections, like people will get to know you. Like that's kind of all you really need to do. So yeah, I did that for a while. I was building random little projects. I built like a portfolio at jakeyourbinning.com and like potential employers would go to it and check it out. Um, but what's really funny is, and I haven't really told this story to many people, when I first was learning to code, I did start building all these projects. I did start like trying to get my name out there online and you know, I was applying to like 30 or 40 jobs a day and all of them were completely remote at first because there were like, there was like nothing nearby that looked like it was like accepting anyone of my level which was like severely junior. Um, and I ended up getting an interview with this random Web3 company and they jumped on a call with me and were like, hey, what are your skills in this area? And the guy interviewing me, like, you know, bless him, had like almost zero technical skills. So he didn't really understand that I didn't really have any technical skills either. I had some, just obviously not as much as he probably wanted for the role. Um, which is another thing, recruiters, if you're recruiting for technical roles, please make sure you understand a little bit of technical because, yeah, otherwise you might hire the wrong person. Anyway, man, I'm puffed. Do I just walk really fast? So anyway, long story short, I ended up landing the job. It was like for almost double what I was on at the marketing job, which obviously felt amazing, blew my mind, made me feel like, wow. I had like achieved something crazy and the coolest part was I had done all of this in like three to four months since making that commitment that I was going to learn. I was able to just like get started on this new role and work completely remote. So all of a sudden I'm like working at the kitchen bench, I didn't have to drive in traffic anywhere, I could hang out with Hermie and Maddie, my wife, more and it was fully remote, it was a brand new role, it was fresh, it was exciting. I was like getting more skills, like everything was just like working and like there is obviously an element of luck involved um, in the like recruiting process but I think in the end it all does come down to how much you put yourself out there. Once again, New York, there will be like sirens any time of day. I know a lot of stuff, I know a lot of code, I know how to do a lot of really really cool things but by no means am I an expert in anything and I will never, ever claim to be an expert. That probably starts with my first tip. Number one, don't ever assume that you are an expert or know everything. I can guarantee you will go nowhere. 
because no one wants to work with that kind of person. Two, you will not be teachable and in your head you will think you're better than everyone so ego will get in your way. You'll also not land jobs because you'll think that you're too good for these people or you deserve to be paid more so then yeah, there's just so many things that can go wrong with like being too arrogant and egotistical so I highly recommend just being like open to learning and I don't know just like don't, don't be that guy just be prepared to be okay with being the dumbest guy in the room which is exactly how I treat everything opens a lot of opportunities second thing if you're learning to code if you're learning to program if you already know how to program and you're trying to get a role please just start building projects building projects is the number one way to showcase your skills as a developer to be honest in any field on a computer it's the best way to showcase your skills because people can see work you've done they can try and figure out why you did certain things you can explain that to them in an interview like just doing a CV is not going to cut it in a technical interview you need to have like yourname.com or I don't know some other domain and put stuff up like that people want to see like recruiters want to see it's going to benefit you it's going to help you in the recruitment process it's going to lift you to the top of the pile number three I would say just if you want something enough you will figure out a way to make it happen and the weirdest part is oh my gosh lots of construction going on there very very loud I would say yeah if you want something enough you'll figure out a way to make it happen also favorite restaurant Singapore Singaporean food such a beautiful place in New York if you're over here in Flatiron if you want something enough you can make it happen and I think that's it those are the top three things don't be that guy don't have ego be prepared to be the dumbest guy in the room put yourself out there build projects make yourself impressive and even if you are junior own the fact that you're junior and be like super willing and make it like very clear that you're willing to be like taught things and you're teachable number three just if you want it enough figure out ways to get yourself in the door that's it anyway it's getting really busy on the stretch right now in Flatiron and it's tourist season it's 10 days till Christmas today and one thing about being behind a camera especially in the middle of New York and Flatiron is that everyone is looking at you and there's a part of me that wants to go back to having a smaller camera but also at the same time I think this is actually a good exercise for me because it's kind of like put yourself in uncomfortable awkward situations as much as you can and you will grow and I think that's relevant to almost any scenario anyway that's my advice take it or leave it I don't mind but I'm right now going for a little walk around the block from my startup job as a software engineer in New York and you can do it too anyway let's get back to work <laughs>